Hi, we're here today to talk to you about Unit 6, Ecosystems, Interactions, and Energy. There are four standards for this unit. Our video covers three of the four. Hey, Kathy, I have an ecosystem joke for you or two. <laughs> now there's a surprise. All right, tell me one, Jeff, just one. Uh, where's a rabbit's favorite place to eat? I don't know, Jeff. Where is a rabbit's favorite place to eat? I hop. Get it? Actually, I do get it. That was kind of funny. Um, but let's come back to in this unit, we'll be talking about where animals get their food from. And I am 100% certain that rabbits do not get their food. They need to survive from the IHOP. Kathy, I've also got a great catchy song about our topic. It's Food Chain by Mr. Parr, and it talks about the flow of energy in the ecosystem, how food is obtained, how ecosystems are sustained, and you're really going to like it. The song is in the Atlas unit. All right, let's take a listen to that song. Also on Atlas, there's a unit from DESI. The unit, called Food Webs, is very comprehensive and includes lessons about how producers get energy from the sun, how consumers eat producers, and many more lessons. There are great resources in this unit like videos, webcams, and rubrics. That sounds great. We'll take a look at the DESI unit um, if you want. The website is below. Let's talk about the activity that we suggest for this unit. This activity comes from CPAWS Calgary. We put the link for you below. Remember, there are also many alternative activities as well as um, videos and informational text on our Atlas curriculum website. The activity we're going to talk about today is called the food chain game. And if possible, this game is best played with some space like maybe outside or the gym or the cafeteria. Once you've explained the rules, the game takes about 20 minutes to play. Obviously, it can be played more than once for students to really understand the concepts or for you to offer some uh, alternative scenarios in the game. Great. Everything is, is explained in the game instructions, but here's a brief overview. This is like a giant game of tag with specific roles for each student. There are four character types. Producers, whose goal is to survive and be sought by the herbivores, and decomposers, herbivores whose goal is to catch producers and avoid the carnivores and decomposers. Carnivores whose goal is to catch the herbivores and avoid the decomposers. Um, and the decomposers whose goal is to catch and decompose all other characters. Decomposers are not sought by anything else. Once you've described the roles to your students, hand out the character cards. Um, table two in the game instructions suggests the number of cards that should be made ahead of time, depending on how big your class is. As in most ecosystems, there are far more producer cards than herbivore and far more herbivore than carnivore. As teacher, you get to play the role of the sun, the source of all energy. If students get eaten or decomposed, you can give the students a second life by issuing them another card when needed. 
the instructions add that you can experiment with the ecosystem by increasing the number of carnivores and decomposers. When playing, give the producers a head start, followed by the carnivores, etc. You can also establish cutoff points such as any surviving herbivore with less than five producer cards dies of starvation. Um, Jeff, so let's talk a little bit about what this might look like in real life. As a teacher, you're going to assign out the card. So I'm a student. Let's say I have the producer card and you're another student. You I'm have an the herbivore. herbivore card. So the teacher is now going to give the producers a little head start to run out on the playground or the cafeteria, a little bit of a head start. Remember, this is like a giant game of tag. And then the herbivores get released. And their job is to tag a producer and take, take the card. Take card. So then if my card's gone, I have to just sit down on the floor or the playground. I'm, I'm out of the game for that moment. So herbivore keeps collecting cards and when they've collected a bunch of herbivore cards, I'm sorry, producer cards, and all the producers are out of the game. Meanwhile, I'm carnivores... Trying to, I'm trying to avoid the carnivores. Then I'm chasing you so if I catch you, I then get I, you and all your cards. That's right. And, and I have, have to, to sit, sit down. down. Okay. So that's how you're going to be managing the game. And that's why it kind of goes pretty quick. And you might want to do multiple iterations of the game. Give kids a chance to have different roles in the game as well. But I'll tell you, when my students have played, they come away knowing what's a carnivore, herbivore, decomposed. They know it. And understand the ecosystem and the food chain. Exactly. Exactly. So definitely have fun with this one. This activity is rich with ecological concepts to explore with your students. There are sample questions you might ask, such as, uh, what did you feel when you played the game? Is this how an animal might feel? What strategies did you use to avoid being caught? Do animals use these strategies? If humans were introduced to the game, how would that change things? If we add drought or famine to the ecosystem, what might happen? You could assign writing as an extension. What would life be like as an herbivore? How might disappearing wetlands affect the ecosystem? Hey, Kathy, what did the frog say when he heard, time flies when you're having fun? Time is fun when you're having flies. That's a food chain joke. And you know, jokes matter. Uh, no, Jeff, I'm sorry, but science, science matters. matters.